hello wordpress people so in this video we are going to talk about adding id in the uh, jwt auth tokens api so in my one of the project i need user id in this response so in this video we are going to add that id to this rest api response so let's begin the code so um, if you are not familiar with what the jwt auth token is so this is to protect api uh, wordpress api so that uh, unauthenticated user can't access the uh, apis or maybe we can restrict user to access your app or site so full detail video i already made in the past so i will provide that link into the description section so i would suggest to watch what jwt authentication is and how to configure it on the wordpress site so now let's jump into the code so here in this um, <coughs> this is my local wordpress repo and uh, we will search um, we will try to search if we can add user id in this response or not so i'm gonna search this thing in the plugin So it seems like it is coming from here so let me confirm this so i will add underscore one here and then we will refresh the api and yes it is coming from here so now yeah here we already have the filters so yeah um in my wordpress setup this is my custom plugin where i i do all my custom work so let's add this filter to my custom plugin so i'm gonna go inside my plugin includes and i will open my projects file so which is um, this one headless app apis so i will add this filter over here and let's see how many arguments we get from that so we get two arguments so we will add we will add priority and argument number and we will copy the data and user and then we will return data as this is filter we have to return the original uh, argument so i'm gonna first print uh, okay we i know what we get in data but still i'm gonna print the data and i will print 
the user object as well so now it is saved let's refresh the api okay so this one is the data array and this is the user so here is the id of user we have we can we have id over here as well so i'm gonna set that id into the data and i will say it user id so and as this is object this is user object so i will access id like this and i will remove this and now let's refresh the api again and we should be getting the user id in the response so as you can see we have our user id in the response so this is how we can add our extra parameter to jwt auth token api and this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video